and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. Previously in The Archers, David is doing his research and Susan has a surprise for Alice. David and Ruth chat about how much they've got on with Kevin, Ben and the B&B. They really want Ben to make a go of the B&B, &B, although he's starting at the Laurels next week. They decide to ask Linda the secret to her B&B &B success. Susan offers to babysit Martha for Alice. When Lillian suggests that Alice takes up the offer, worried Alice thinks she's made a stupid mistake. Lillian visits Susan to tell her that Alice regrets saying she was close to drinking. Alice thinks Susan only offered to look after Martha because she thought Alice wasn't up to it. Later Alice explains to Susan, although she may always feel the urge to drink, she hasn't and she wouldn't. Susan clarifies she only wanted to ensure that Alice had some proper rest. Susan praises Alice, saying she's a very good mother because she hasn't given in to drinking. Tearfully. Alice opens up about how hard it's been and how lucky she feels to have Susan there. Alice is touched when Susan presents Alice with a book to put Jennifer's recipes in, illustrated by Poppy and Kira. Lee's surprised when Helen reveals that Mabel and Evie are excited about going to America. Helen explains they thought Lee would feel hurt if they told him. Lee is loath to give Mabel and Evie up, but feels he hasn't got a choice. Helen suggests he could go too, with his skills, he'd easily find work there, but Lee wonders what will happen to him and Helen. Thank you so much for listening to this Archers episode. You're listening to Tuesday's episode of The Archers, from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> So I just bumped into when I got home. You home already? Yes, to get on with the decorating, remember? Oh, yes, yes, sorry, yeah, I remember. So guess who was waiting outside the house with a frozen shepherd's pie? Brian? Yep, Brian. He wanted to say thank you for us having him over the other night. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, no, no, that's not nice, Roy. Oh, yeah, it's not, you're right. I'm... Because now he's gone to throw on some overalls and help me with painting Phoebe's old room. He'll be back any minute. I take it you don't want that? No, I don't. I just wanted a little piece with my paintbrush. When are you getting home? Oh, well, uh, we got the architect over this week, and I don't think I can get away for know, another couple of hours at least. Oh, so looking forward to some time to just chill out and paint without having to tiptoe around Brian. Oh, come on, Kirsty. Have some sympathy. I have. On several occasions. <laughs> you may as well have an adjoining door so he doesn't have to bother ringing the bell. I'm, like, I'm sorry, uh, but... No, Roy, you need to get home as soon as possible and help. Well, help how? I don't know, but he's your daughter's granddad. Well, what's that got to do with anything? Oh, just get back as soon as you can. Brian, come in. Right, where do you want me? What on earth did you say that for? Because I don't want to be the one who stands between him and his daughters. I thought Tom was going to finish off planting the broad beans. Don't change the subject. Suggesting he go with them sounds like you want him to go. I do, if that's what he wants. Helen, you're making no sense. Dad, Lee is a very experienced physiotherapist. If he can get a green card, he'd find work out there quite easily. But I can't pretend his only choice in life is to watch his children get on a plane and move to the other side of the world. But suggesting he go with them and set up a life in America? I've turned this over and over in my head, Dad. I see how much he's hurting. And it is a valid and real option. The only thing stopping him is us, him and me. It would be selfish to try and keep him here. So, what if he decides to do it? I don't know. 
If Lee chooses to move to California, what happens to you and the boys? Would you go with him? I don't see how that's possible. With the boys' schooling and my work here... So, if he goes, that's it for you two. Dad, I wish it was simpler. I wish Mabel and Evie loved it here and didn't want to go abroad, but they really do. And Lee's cut up about it. If he needs to be with his children, who am I to stand in his way? I love him too much for that. Besides, we'd still be here living our lives, but his side of things would be pretend. That's a very noble approach, Helen, but it's a risky one too. One that could cost you your happiness. Well, right now it is Lee's happiness I'm thinking about. Although he's been so quiet since last night, I'm not even sure he's speaking to me. Oh, well, that'll make judging the pancake competition fun. Yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to Lillian yet? Oh, one problem at a time, Helen. He's asleep in the armchair? Yes. How long? Just over an hour. Oh, can't he sleep at his own house, in his own chair? Apparently not. He started off well, really tried to help. But he can't really distinguish between the old paint and the new. The colours are too similar. At least he tried. So I convinced him to come down for a break, and one cup of tea and two digestives later, he's gone. Maybe you should wake him. Me? Yes. Oh, I was really looking forward to some telly and me feet up after the day I've had. Join the club. I was meant to be soaking in the bath around about now, but how can I with Brian in the living room? We could just go out to the pub, leave him a note in case he wakes up. How does that help? I don't know. Wouldn't it be too horrible for him to wake up with no one here? Well, maybe he won't wake up and he'd still be asleep when we get back. <sighs> Either way, I'm starving, so... Well, I know it's my turn, but I haven't had a chance to cook. Hey, I thought you said he brought a shepherd's pie. Oh, yeah. I'll go and put it in the oven. Tony! Lee! Oh, you come to collect me for the pancake competition. In fact, shouldn't you be over there flipping pancakes already? Oh, Natasha and Pat are there with Helen. They seem to be doing okay without me. Oh, you were all gung-ho yesterday. Yesterday seems a long time ago. <laughs> Listen, Lee, is this about the girls being excited about San Francisco? They confided in you too? Uh, no, Helen did. Right. Only because she was trying to get her thoughts in order. Did she tell you she suggested I move to California with them? Yes. Wow. So she's really been thinking about it. She's obviously looking for a way out. Oh, nonsense. She's literally asking me to leave, Tony. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be discussing this with you, but... Lee, she's reminding you there is an option where you get to be closer to them. No matter what it costs Helen and the boys. So she's willing to let me go? <laughs> I'm not sure willing is the right word. She's been in knots about this. She seemed pretty calm and clear last night. It's not an easy situation for either of you, but each day she sees you enjoying being a father with Mabel and Evie, she's acutely aware of what you'll be missing when they go. I asked her, what about us? She didn't say anything. It's not her decision to make, it's yours. I know my daughter, Lee. She doesn't want this to be more difficult for you than it has to be. Sooner or later, the girls will be getting on a plane. And it seems you have a decision to make. It'll be all right if it was just one decision. I thought this was about me and the girls, not me and Helen as well. Oh, maybe I'm just not good at judging this kind of thing. I don't think that's it. Then why would she tell me going was an option? Because if she faced the same situation with Jack and Henry, what would you tell her? Stay and let your boys go? <sighs> what she said took every bit of love and strength she has in her, Lee. She suggested it because she loves you, and she knows how much you love your girls. What am I supposed to do, Tony? I don't envy your situation, but... I will say this. Being a good parent isn't just about being in the same house or, or the same country as your children. Of course, it's the ideal, but when it's not possible, that's not the end. There are a dozen ways you can be present in each other's lives in a meaningful and real way, even long distance. I keep worrying they'll think I don't love them. 
Mabel and Evie are old enough to know you love them, Lee. I see it whenever you're together. Yeah? Yes. And you have this knack of making all four children feel loved without ever feeling like they're competing for first place. Why do you think they all get along so well? That is true parenting in my book. The UK's canals and rivers are teaming with a plethora oh, of I'm awfully sorry. I don't know what it is about this chair and that narrator's voice. It puts me right to sleep. Oh, don't worry, Brian. Happens to the best of us. You're probably more tired than you think you are. Maybe an early night would do you good. Yes, yeah. Well, I'd I better be off. Oh, and don't forget the shepherd's pie. It's already in the oven. Oh, good. Good. Give yourselves a night off cooking. Thanks. Well, why don't you stay? What? Well, it's a massive shepherd's pie. It's too big for two. Yeah, I know. Joy's food parcels are very generously portioned. Yeah, listen, thank you, but uh, I couldn't possibly impose after the embarrassment of dropping off. Oh, well. well. And you've got something for your dinner, have you? Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry about me. Well, there's no point in defrosting another dish when there's plenty to go round. Really? Well, if you're both sure. Of course. Well, I might go and get change, if that's OK. Maybe you crack open a decent bottle of wine from next door. Oh, sounds great. I'll bring some over. But it'll be ready by the time you get back. Excellent. I'll see you both in a moment. Yeah. <sighs> oh! What's going to you? He was ready to leave. Oh, come on. He did bring the pie over. The freezer's stock full of them. I'm only trying to find the silver lining. There isn't one, Roy. Our house has been taken over. But quality wine and good home cooking isn't a silver lining. It's not that I don't feel awful for him. And my heart goes out to him. It really does. But... Well, say it. Brian's company isn't exactly... He always asks about work. And before I know it, he's going on about ways to develop the rewilding site that are diametrically opposite to my basic worldview. Well, he means well. Oh, I know. And I hate myself for saying this, but once he's had a couple of drinks, he doesn't know when to stop. And I'm so tired of having to smile politely and wait for him to wind down. I don't know what's worse. When he's out like a light on the sofa or when he's railroading the conversation. Well, do you want to call him and tell him not to come? Oh, Sure, there's nothing mean about that. Well, you're the one who wants rid of him. And you're the one who keeps inviting him back. I do not. You literally just did. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I'd better get changed too. <laughs> and tonight, you're doing all the clearing up. Thanks for coming out for a walk with me. Oh, you don't have to thank me. It's nice. Walk those pancakes off. They were quite full on, weren't they? <laughs> Sorry I was late tonight. That's OK. You've got a lot on your mind. I have. Especially after what I said last night. I haven't stopped thinking about it. Since you said the words, I kept wondering what you meant. You suggesting I go. You could have asked me. I was right there. Yeah, but I'm a typical man, aren't I? A dumb bloke who's happier to get lost in his own thoughts than ask for directions. And? I thought, why is the woman I love... Looking for a way out. Why is she keen for me to leave the country? Keen? Lee, that's not what I said, and it's certainly not what I meant. I know. I spoke to your dad. Oh. He was great. He cleared a few things up. Such as? Such as? What would I say to you if it was your decision to make? And then I spoke to Alicia. And tonight I'll be speaking to Mabel and Evie themselves. So you've come to a decision? I have. The way I see it, if you can be courageous enough to support me moving away to be nearer my girls, even if it means losing us, then I ought to be man enough to let my girls be happy. To let them go and try out San Francisco for themselves. I told Alicia I want video calls, visits in the holidays whenever possible, and I need to trust they'll always know I'm their dad, know how much I love them. And then I have to do everything I can to be a meaningful, present part of their lives. So you're, you're staying? I'm staying. And this way, I get to be a good dad to my daughters and to my sons too. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been trying these past few days to think of how I might tell the boys that you might be moving far away. I just couldn't do it. I c couldn't find the words. 
good. Because I'm not. Paraphernalia of production. Uh, yep, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yep, that's... I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years. Um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever